everyone zeddy here again today with a brand new video we're a little bit later because for some reason i thought we might be getting a balance nerf or a balance change teaser and yes play our stone has just tweeted this out balance changes incoming patch 29.4.2 will bring updates to standard and battlegrounds three cards getting nerfed uh, for standard, we're gonna go over which ones they are, what they could be, cards that were kind of omitted that I'm a little bit worried about, as well as we'll, we'll go over the Battleground stuff. We'll leave that for the Battlegrounds channels, as well as a reminder on some other stuff. And if you enjoy the content on the channel, if you like, I've earned your subscription, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like as we're on the road to 83,000 subscribers. Just a friendly reminder, uh, the quest is live right now uh, to unlock like what is it like six packs and a portrait and yes they did this thing again you have to play or destroy a legendary minion that's included in the mini set that's not super played on ladder so that is frustrating we'll probably talk about that in a future video but to the changes what cards are getting changed in this patch no date specified probably thursday you would think maybe tomorrow um and also to go live with it there will be the weekly quest change thing they promised in the patch notes on the last patch so we'll finally get an update on these weekly quests see what that will be but yeah molten giant will be getting nerfed we don't know the changes for any of these cards none of it's been confirmed but this card used to cost 25 mana back in my day it was reverted uh, to 20 when it rotated uh well, it was hall of fame actually back then uh to wild and i hope it's not something that drastic again because that basically killed the card it would be playable in wild you could still go like um renathal into the infernal card set your remaining health to 15 play it for zero because it would cost 25 mana less exactly but in standard that means you have to be at five health to play it for zero which is not really you know possible um i would hope maybe like like 22 23 just to make it a little bit harder so you can't just play like infernal blood treant and then at zero uh you have to get a little bit lower that yeah basically you could be dead to a kill command plus a hero power to a fireball plus a ping right like get it to that style of range and also make it a little bit less easy to cheat out with the infernal is what i anticipate unless they're gonna rework the way this card is worded but considering this card has been in hearthstone since like day one um i don't see it happening and you'll note on this list of cards being changed nothing's happening for wild uh the demon seed is not being hit um can't say i'm surprised it's wild it took how long to just adjust the mage quest in a way that made sense right like they just don't see it as a priority um and yeah the demon seed basically dictating everything the hope i have is that the nerf to the molten giant which is a pretty core part to the dark lair style of deck will be enough to help out with that mode right like a lot of the scam of that deck for the against aggressive decks that allows dark glare and uh demon seed to be like you know okay against aggressive decks those style of decks is to cheat out those moltens and give it um give it rush with broomstick i'm hoping that's what's gonna happen otherwise yeah the demon seed is kind of gonna dictate everything the meta is already super warped around it its win rates have dropped especially at higher play but it's like you play the demon seed or you play something that uh, beats it or you're uh pretty screwed unless you queue into those matchups that are trying to beat it it's just that polarized gross style of stormwind meta we've seen plenty of times i'm hoping that it won't be as bad we'll keep our eye out keep our eyes on it to see how it goes but um yeah i'm concerned about wild i just i i will just be nice to play a format that's not dictated by a deck that auto beats every slow strategy it was the mage quest before now it's just infinite fatigue damage or infinite mass production damage we'll see i'm i'm hopeful but i'm pretty um what uh, skeptical you know always the negative dancey around here anyways the other standard changes showdown finally getting nerfed this has been one of the best performing cards in paladin since it was introduced in showdown in the badlands i got to imagine this just goes to three mana nerfing the stats on it won't do a lot right i mean it would do something you can make them two twos i suppose 
but it's still all about getting those, bo- the, you know, that mass board swing out there, cheat out sea giants, uh, get the aura trade up. Not, the stats won't do that. Um, you could make it summon two outlaws for each, right? That is certainly a possibility, which would be more in line with the two mana style thing. Summon two, two, two outlaws. But again, that also feels probably pretty bad. I just like the thematically clean three mana across the board, three, three, threes, three mana. And then, yeah, you're slowing down that sea giant turn just a touch. Um, it, it'll still probably be pretty impactful, honestly, three, but you never know. One mana is a big deal, unless it's brand, when two mana uh, didn't do much, <laughs> didn't do a lot. If you look at like HS Replay, top thousand legend, uh, Reno Warrior's the best deck still, like one of the best decks. It's pretty crazy. We'll probably talk about that in a future video again. Uh, but regardless, yeah, I could see this going to three, but again, maybe two mana getting two. We'll see. And again, once we get those patch notes, we'll confirm the changes for you guys. And the last change, the last nerf that's coming, Thirsty Drifter, the six mana, four, six priest minion. It has taunt and it costs one less for each one cost card you play this turn. So basically I expect this to go up to like seven, maybe eight mana. I feel like one mana nerf to this will do almost nothing. I feel like it's got to be at least two, right? Like it's going to be the flesh giant nerf all over again, where it went from eight to nine. And then two weeks later, it went to 10. It's one of those cards where again, like mold giant, I don't expect to go to 21, right? I expect it to get ramped up by at least a couple uh, because this card comes down so fast. And again, creates those early scan turns. You can still do the Zerimi priest thing. Take the extra turn with all your dragons. You can still couple it up with zero mana thirsty drifters, unless it says cannot cost. Maybe they make it so it can't cost less than one, but they never like to do that, right? Like they never do that. I think it's good for the game, but they never do it because it's more fun to play zero mana cards. So yeah, I'd probably expect it. It could lose stats. You can make it like a three, five, a three, six, a two, four, a two, one, a zero, zero. Well, then it would blow up, but still, I, you can hit the stats, right? So, but I feel like the mana efficiency of it all uh, is something to look out for. So these three confirmed changes are really, they're all the same approach, right? That we were talking about in like the video yesterday, early scan boards. They're really trying to slow those down because the meta itself, every class seems to have something going on, seems something good. I'll just say one card feels kind of omitted from these nerfs that enable all of these decks, and we talked about it a lot yesterday, is Zilliax. Zilliax is not included in this balance patch, and when you have that ticking module, right, the one that discounts uh, based on the board, that's the biggest enabler of all these flood decks, is getting that ticking module Zilliax out there, and overall, only showdown really, you know, is gonna help with that. So Zilliax, I feel like, yeah, you're still gonna see it. It's in over like 70, 75% of decks right now. I doubt that will change, but the flood decks will get a lot worse, but they are not nerfing in what I feel like is the biggest enabler of them all. So we'll see how it all plays out. Again, we don't know the exact date this patch will go live. I'm assuming Thursday, it could be tomorrow. It's probably not today considering they, they put these this teaser out, you know, right now. So let me know what you think about all these changes, lack of changes, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll hit you up when the official changes go live. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.